Hello friends, welcome to Global Fans. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that the US Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, basically said Chinese firms are providing non-lethal support to Russia. And the new report suggests that uh, Beijing might provide the lethal support to the Russia as well. Also warned that uh, such action would uh, result in a serious consequences for China. So basically, Beijing uh, outrightly refused uh, these false accusations. And the China Foreign Ministry spokesperson said that we do not accept the United States finger pointing on China Russia relationship, let alone co- coercion and pressure. China denied all kind of support that the, uh, Russia has basically asked for any military equipment or requested any military equipment. China and Russia are basically the allies, and uh, the China is yet to condemn Russian invasion of Ukraine. But at the same time, China basically took a neutral position in this conflict and called for the peace. The Chinese top diplomat Mr. Wang and uh, Anthony Blinken had a confrontational uh, meeting in the Munich as well. According to U.S. Secretary of State, he basically expressed his deep concerns about the possibility that the China may provide lethal material support to the Russians, and he believes that the information U.S. has uh, is basically that the China would primarily uh, provide the important weapons as well as ammunition to the Russians. He has already put sanctions on the Chinese companies which provided satellite imagery to the uh, of the Ukrainians to the uh, mercenary group Wagner, which supplies Russians with thousands of fighters. So the U.S. Secretary of State already warned that uh, it is going to create a serious problem for the U.S. and China relationship if the Chinese company provide the Russians with the weapons. And he also said that uh, uh, there is no distinction between the private companies in China and the state-owned companies. Recently, we have seen that the relationship between the, both the countries, China and the America, uh, is are very much strained because uh, of the spy balloon incident uh, in which uh, the Americans shoot down the Chinese balloon. And according to Americans, it was basically spying over the U.S. territory, and it also uh, basically spied over the 40 other countries across the other continents as well. U.S. Secretary of State also said that the China basically provided a way to the Russians to dodge the uh, sanctions which were basically imposed by the uh, Western countries. Since the China is buying the uh, largest share of the Russian oil, gas, and coal, and also the Chinese trade with the Russia has been growing, but on the other hand, if we see that uh, the U.S. is providing all uh, sort of weapons and ammunition and equipments to Ukraine against the Russian, even the tanks are not considering to provide the fighter jets uh, to the Ukraine as well. Mr. Blinken already uh, already shown his intention that the U.S. can uh, provide any particular weapons to the Ukraine as well. So in the upcoming few months, you are going to see um, that the Russia is going to launch an advance uh, offense in the eastern region of the Ukraine. And uh, probably the U.S. may support the countries which can provide the fighter jets to the Ukraine. Any stop diplomat basically said that uh, they are going to propose uh, a solution for this conflict, and China is not fueling the fire uh, or not supporting this war. According to the proposal put forward by the Chinese, uh, the Chinese basically focus that the territorial integrity of all the countries must be protected and respected. He said that uh, some forces do not uh, want this Ukrainian war to end, and they want to prolong this war. But he didn't meant the, or didn't even uh, reveal which countries uh, are involved in prolonging this war. But obviously, he meant the U.S. So on 24 February, we are going to see that the Chinese president is going to deliver a peace speech, and uh, most expectedly, they would call for the peace uh, without condemning the Russians. This what the Italian foreign minister basically thinks. U.S. basically also warned China that uh, the incident like this Chinese balloon should not again or should never again occur. The China thinks that the U.S. is using all its uh, means to block and suppress the China. And China also claimed that uh, it wasn't a spy balloon, uh, rather it was basically used for the uh, weather monitoring purpose. China also warned the U.S. that the U.S. will bear all the consequences if it escalated the argument over the balloon. They said that the China would follow through to the end in the event the U.S. insists on taking advantage of the issue. So basically, it shows that the relationship between both the countries, the Chinese and the Americans, are now entering into a new Cold War, and a war in Ukraine has started a proxy war between the U.S. and the China. By engaging the U.S. in the Ukraine war, China is also getting an advantage because the more focus of the U.S. is now on Ukraine, and this basically provided China more opportunity to focus on the South China Sea and the issue of Taiwan. So in near future, we are going to see that which countries want to stop this war in Ukraine and which countries want to prolong it. Either way, this uh, war is uh, bringing a uh, number of benefits for the American arms dealer companies, which are making a lot of profit from this war. But at the same time, it is also uh, benefiting the Chinese companies, which are providing non-lethal support and aid to the Russians. But it seems that this conflict is going to turn into a wider conflict, where the world powers are going to use all their resources to beat each other. Sending a spy balloon into the American backyard was a clear indication that the China is not afraid of the U.S. aggression in the South China Sea or in the Ukraine. And if uh, China has to act, then China will act against the U.S. no matter what the cost would be. So, friends, this was about today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. Do inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box. Thank you for listening.